I'm with Joanna Turner from Baseless Fabric Theatre, which is a charity supported by the Wimbledon Foundation. Joanna, just tell us a little bit about Baseless Fabric, please. Okay, so we are a theatre and opera company, and we are based in the borough of Merton. And uh, we, rather than doing performances that happen in theatres, we do performances that happen in public spaces and move around the local area. Um, so really to introduce people to new art forms um, that they might not ordinarily experience. So at the moment, we are adapting classic operas for the high street. We're editing them down to uh, about an hour and um, rewriting the music for three instruments and uh, a new kind of modern, English modern version uh, that happens and a scene will pop up in a cafe or a pub. Our singers look like normal people in jeans and T-shirts. They start singing their conversation um, and then they'll get up and move to another location, which might be a supermarket or a library. Um, and... Uh, local people can follow us and watch the whole story or they can just watch a little bit and it's really to give local people the chance to experience an art form that they might not ordinarily come into contact with. Opera is often seen as elitist, expensive, uh, relevant, not relevant or boring and we want to show that it doesn't have to be any of those things and to really give everyone a chance to experience opera. And the other thing that we do which is very much part of our work which is going to uh, local community organisations and into schools and to run workshops both for the elderly and for young people to Really introduce everyone to uh, to this art form. Well, this sounds amazing. Like, who kind of came up with the idea, and what's the reaction been like to it? Um, I came up with the idea. Um, and Great, I love it. Thank you. Um, it's inspired by a project I did as a freelance director with Welsh National Opera a few years ago, uh, which kind of happened in one public space, and so I quite liked the idea of we've been doing. Uh, promenade uh, theatre projects that move around and so I thought okay well let's let's try it with opera and last year the performances uh, went down really well we had amazing reactions from people uh, and we're doing similar performances in a couple of weeks and we are going to eight different town centre locations across the borough of Merton so everywhere for uh, Wimbledon, Rains Park, Morden, Mitchin, Pollard Hill and really taking the opera directly to people going around the, in the supermarket um, and the person next to them starts singing and um, as I say people can watch just that one little bit next to them um, if they like it they can follow us the whole thing um, and it's just really just to kind of give everyone the opportunity to experience it it sounds like what you'd see going viral on youtube yeah. and uh, where is maybe the most unusual location that your team have popped up on um, all sorts, really. I mean, we've we've done a couple in uh, Morrison's, and that's that's been really fun. Um, and, and the Veg Isle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, um, yeah, the kind of pubs and, and cafes and stuff. But um, the workshops that we've been doing have been um, with the young people have been particularly exciting. Um, and so uh, all ages from kind of eight to uh, fifteen years old, um, and uh, kind of really introducing lots of young people who otherwise just would never come into contact with this art form. I know they're quite secret, they just pop up everywhere, but can you tell me more specifically what production you've got coming oh, on? Would we know it? Yes, uh, the production that we're working on at the moment is Cosi Fan uh, opera by Mozart, and uh, yes, it's a very modern adaptation that we've uh, rewritten, and I've written a, a, rewritten a new modern English text, and uh, our, our composer has uh, adapted the music for uh, three instruments, as you can't really move an entire orchestra around the high street. <laughs> and for the, for the people involved, how is it helping them? Uh, for the um, the workshop participants, um, we uh, are teaching young people about an art form that they probably otherwise would never experience. Um, and so we've gone into uh, 10 different schools and young people's groups across the borough. Um, particularly exciting because we get to work with some brilliant local organisations like Jigsaw for You, Fantastic Children's Charity, Mercy Music Foundation, who provide um, all sorts of different musical activities to uh, young people um, of all backgrounds across the borough. Um, and Obviously, I think everyone should have the opportunity to experience all art forms. Um, and singing and acting is brilliant for young people in terms of, in terms of their confidence, in terms of, of having fun, but also very much their kind of focus and discipline skills. You're listening and learning music and uh, getting acting out a character and responding to your partner's uh, line and then singing your next line. It's really good for kind of their focus skills, and we've had some amazing reactions from young people. Um, and so that's been really exciting. And then the, uh, the workshops that we've done for some of the elderly groups, it's about engaging them with this kind of crazy, complicated love story, maybe talk to them about some of the memories of their own <laughs> lives um, and uh, we show them some filming of the performances because they might not be able to kind of follow us along the high street watching the performances so it's a chance for them to engage with the project as well and also we've run a couple of drama games for them which is kind of good for their kind of yeah focus skills as well. <laughs> And uh, the, the name Baseless Foundation didn't just come by chance, did it here? No, Baseless Fabric is actually a quotation from Shakespeare. Um, there's, it's from The Tempest, um, and it's kind of about uh, theatrical magic. It's about uh, something uh, that 
appears real but isn't something that kind of pops up um, and then a moment later is gone so the kind of temporality of, of theatre and especially since we do things in public spaces we kind of thought that was appropriate and just tell us how much the Wimbledon Foundation has, has helped as well please oh absolutely uh, um, um, amazing help really in terms of the, the actually um, supporting paying for the workshops to allow us to go into schools and to young people's groups provide these workshops um, and to go do, run the elderly sessions which we wouldn't be able to do uh, that part of the project without them um, and also uh, to enable us to engage some local uh, people with the uh, helping out at the performance as well so we're kind of um, we're asking for any local people who want to be volunteers and help out with the performances that enable us, us to kind of offer them travel expenses and to be involved um, and if they want to kind of come into rehearsals and see what we're up to and be involved in kind of putting a professional opera together um, then they can um, but yeah it should be it should be a very exciting our performances are in a couple of weeks um, so we're going to rehearsals with our opera singers on on Monday and um, yeah we've got eight different performances happening free and unticketed across the borough of Merton for anyone who wants to see it to come and experience a bit of opera.